So last year, 2021, we closed right at $50 million worth of properties. Um, we've closed 105 properties already this year, and we've got, we're, we're expecting to close about another 100 for the rest of the year. Are you ready to be fired up? Because I sure am. I have got a top producer, Joe Seaman, ready to like, give you all his nuggets, tell you exactly what, who, where, and how to be a real estate superstar. Joe, how are you doing? Hello, Krista. So this has been a dream of mine to be on your podcast. And so you not only help people every single day, but you help make dreams come true as well. So I'm very excited to be with you today. You're so, so cute. Yeah, I am from the Augusta, Georgia slash Aiken, South Carolina market. So we border two states. Um, I work both states every single day. I'm about 50-50 in both areas. And so it's a really good thing that um, I, I'm on that border area. And I work about a 90 mile radius. Wow. Is that difficult doing, to, doing, that, doing that? I feel like it might be Con difficult for me. The contracts are completely different. So <laughs> you to be well versed in both contracts and both repair procedures in everything they're complete opposites so complete yes opposite. you have to know what you're talking about and every now and then i have to admit every now and then i'll be writing an offer or something and i'll look up and be like oh i'm on the south carolina form and i really need to be on the georgia form so, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> that's so funny okay so tell us a little bit tell us a little bit about your background your success like how much how many deals are you producing so we can kind of get an idea i want everyone to know what a rock star you are first of all joe is one of my students um he has been for what about 10 months now joe-ish yeah september mm -hmm. yes yeah, so we're on there it's crazy that i know that huh and yeah. um he's going to be talking to you about like exactly what he's doing right now to really fast track his business even during um you know the pandemic and everything else that's going on the recession and give you all of his secrets so tell us how much business are you doing right now so last year 2021 we closed right at 50 million dollars worth of properties and like i like to just let people know that last year was my third year into real estate i'm only four years into real estate right now so four years holding a real estate license um, we've closed 105 properties already this year and we've got, we're, we're expecting to close about another hundred for the rest of the year. Um, but through that $50 million of business last year, um, you know, I like to tell you, I've got a team, but 90% of that was me just hardworking, nose to the grind and just not giving up. And so, and then a little bit about my background. So I'm a lot like you. Um, I started working when I was 12 years old at my dad's sign shop. So I only know work. And, um, you know, but I enjoy work. I love what I do. I'm, I'm one of those that, yes, I like to go to the beach. I like to boat and all that, but I truly love to work. And, um, you know, it fulfills my cup. It fills my cup up. But I started my dad's sign shop at 12 years old, um, quickly grew. So I was 15, 16 years old managing a whole sign shop full of 30, 40, 50, 60 year old men and I'm 15, 16 years old. They're like, what does this kid know? You know, but I did it. I just took the role on. And um, so I did a fa I worked in my family business for 27 years. Whoa. Long time. Yes. So at age 39, I just said, hey, I think I'm up for like a career change. You know, I don't know if it was a midlife crisis. I don't know what it was exactly. But um, I'm so glad that I did jump into real estate. And what um, did you get into real estate? I mean, man, that's crazy. Leaving a family business, it takes a lot of like, that's scary. It was pretty scary. Um, so I, I knew that my dad had told me that I had topped out. I went to him for a raise. Um, he said, you're topped out. Like, I can't pay you anymore. You're topped out. So I was like, okay, you know, no problem. No hard feelings, anything like that. So I gave a six month notice. Mm -hmm. um, I said, I don't really know what I'm going to do. We've got a lot of industry, a lot of plants, like the Bridgestone Tower plant here, um, a nuclear waste facility here. So I was applying for those type of jobs and kept getting um, just a nose everywhere. I probably put in a hundred applications at the nuclear waste facility. And like, I'm educated, yeah. like I've got a college degree and all that. And um, just kept scratching my head as to why does, why am I not getting picked up? Like I am smart enough I know how to just go out there, punch some buttons on a keyboard and do a job like I can do this. And I don't know why I'm getting denied so many job opportunities. 
So um, I remember it very, very vividly. I went to lunch. I'm still working for my dad at this point. I went to lunch one day and on the way back from lunch, I just called a friend of mine that was in real estate. So at the time, she had been in real estate eight or nine years. And um, I called her and I said, hey, what do you think about me coming into real estate? Like, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what's the next chapter of my life. And um, I can hear it to this day. She said, out of the eight or nine years she had been in the business, she, says, she said, I have talked everyone out of coming into real estate because it's such a hard industry to make it. She said, you're the first person I'm going to tell, go for it. Oh, and so literally sitting in my office parking lot, she's telling me the real estate school to look up and go to. So I'm literally typing in my phone, you know, the South Carolina real estate school for success. And I'm like, oh, guess what? Their school starts in a week. And so I called the school, asked if they had any openings. Um, of course they did. So um, I called my dad and said, hey, it looks like I might be going to real estate school. And by the way, I'm going to be here for another week and then I'm out. <laughs> um, because the real estate school was in person Monday through Friday every day for a month so he literally was like almost in tears saying please don't go into real estate he's had many friends go not make it it's a very competitive hard business to make it in I said no I really feel good about this like I really really feel a tug towards this and I know it's only been like 30 minutes since I had the conversation but I really feel good about this and um I went to real estate school, um, took about a month off after real estate school, and then jumped into it in April of 2018 on a team. Yeah. So I was a couple of really cool things about that. Number one is it's almost like you, you, you know, you you probably felt like a failure. What's wrong with me when you got denied a hundred different times? But the real reason is the universe was pushing you to do something else. So then you you talk to your friend, she says to do it, you you take immediate action. You don't stop. You don't wait. You don't think about it. You don't second guess. You just do it. And then you did how many transactions last year? 150? 209. 209. Oh, you've already done 150 this year. Yeah, this year. So yeah. we are in, we are in, it's July 18th today. So in just over six months, right? He's done, man, 150 plus transactions. And it, that's so great. Now talk to me a little bit about your team. Now you said that most of it was you and tell me, I mean, how did you drum up that business? What are you doing? How are you getting the results? Because everyone well, wants- A lot to of it, a lot of it, I, I totally accredit my dad and the way he trained me because I do run my real estate business as a business. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's a what lot of agents- What do you mean by that? Explain what you mean by that. So I look at a balance sheet. I look at a profit and loss. Like I look at our expenses. I truly run it as a business to where I know my numbers that we've done to date. I know my numbers every month. That's why I've been able to tell you what we've closed so far, what we closed last year. Like I know my numbers. And so I truly run it as a business to where, you know, there's a lot of real estate agents that just don't know. Um, I was having a conversation a while back and the agent, I was like, so what did you do last year? And she was like, I don't know. You know, they just don't know. They don't run their numbers. They don't know. And so I feel like, you know, my background being a business background truly helped me just gravitate towards, you know, running it as a business. And um, the way I'm getting pro uh, leads and all, I was born and raised in my area. So I've never moved away from this area. Um, even while I'm coming up through my dad's businesses, like I knew that your name and your character and integrity just meant so much, even coming up through a sign shop that had nothing to do with like the public and all that. But I knew that I needed to just keep a very clean, good, honest name. And I just believe whenever I transformed into a real estate agent, that that just followed me into, you know, Joe's a good guy. He does what he says, you know, we can trust what he says to do and follow his um, lead. And that's, that's the way I believe it kind of just transformed into just a good real estate team. However, I will tell you the first year of me being in real estate, like I almost quit real estate at the end of 2018. It was hard. Um, whenever I came in, in 2018, I joined a team. Of course, they gave me the crap leads and they were telling me these are crappy leads. You might close one out of a hundred, but oh I, I closed eight out of a hundred that first year. So, but um, the team, you know, brought me in. I'm thinking they're fixing to name me partner. We're going to be all three of us up there. 
No, they came me in and was like, you're gone. They cut me out of the team. Um, Why? The broker was shining a lot of spotlight on Joe and they didn't really like it. They were the top producing team. They didn't really like all the spotlight and attention that I was getting. So they said, you're gone. Good luck. Bye. See you later. Um, No hard feelings. I'm like, okay, what do I do now? So um, literally had no leads, no nothing, had nothing. So I went into like a little depression in 2018, four months to be exact. Um, however, I had a friend call and said, hey, uh, my wife and I are looking, this was on, uh, this was in November of 2018. He called and said, hey, my wife and I are looking at selling our house. Would you be interested? And I'm like, hey, what are y'all doing in about 20 minutes? I can be there. <laughs> So um, when he called and literally had an open house the day before Thanksgiving, my agents in the office were like, you're not going to have anybody come through. We wrote a contract the day after Thanksgiving. And so that kind of pulled me out. I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm like, this gig, this real estate gig, isn't that bad. You know, I can make that work. And so the first year of me being in real estate, I closed eight transactions. That was it. Second year was 56 transactions. Oh, huge difference. So That's just you just by yourself, work. right? This work. Yes. Only had one very, 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 very part-time admin. Like, so what did you do? What was different between what did you do? So to go from eight transactions to 56... That's what I get in the math, but it's a lot more, 52 yes. more, 48 more. How yes. did you do that? So basically before I even met you, like I'm not scared of video. Um, I would just in front of people, like I would message them. I would, I find a reason to talk to people, mm-hmm. um, you know, to where a lot of people are scared. You know, they don't want to say like, I'll, I'll scroll through people's Facebook pages and find a reason, you know, kind of what you teach us, you know, if they got a new puppy, go and congratulate them on their new puppy. Um, if they've got a birthday or anniversary or something, new car or whatever, like find a reason to talk. And that's what I did. So I was in messenger a lot. I was in text a lot. Um, back then, I didn't do a lot of video text or video messenger, but I, that's all I do now. Mm-hmm. But um, that's basically what I did. I just found a reason to talk to a lot of people. So found and, a reason um, to talk to a lot of people. You reach out to talk to people and not about real estate, just about life. Not even about real estate. Uh-huh. Yes. I, I really, I realized that was the key. Don't go into it. Hey, I'm an agent. Don't forget about me. No. Um, you want to ask them, be interested in what they are doing. And then in turn, it always comes back to real estate. The yeah. conversation always comes back to real estate. And so um, that was 2019 to 56 transactions with a very, very part-time agent. No, no buyer's agents at all. It was me. And then in 2020, I brought on a buyer's agent and another admin. And we did 100 and I think 42 that year. Man, um, so that's such a massive growth. Really quickly, everyone. Growth. I'm going to stop Joe real quickly. He's going to keep telling you his secrets. The first secret was reach out to people as often as possible for any reason. Find an excuse to talk to people. And I want you right now to go to thrive135.com. That's thrive135.com. We're doing a special training with Dean Graziasi and Tony Robbins. It is absolutely free. It starts August 2nd. And Joe and I are going to be there. And we want you to be there because we want to protect our minds and figure out how we can thrive right now during what's happening in the world and in life with so much negativity going on. So go to thrive135.com and we will see you there. Okay, Joe. So now you just like have had massive success. So a few things, you didn't give up. You kept going, even when you were a little depressed, you still did it. You took action right away in the beginning. Um, Saw okay results. You actually did more than most people. And then had your opportunity, changed your mindset and did like 150 something transactions. Uh, And so you hired a small Mm -hmm. team, not a big team. Most of it, 90% of it was you. So now now you've been in a couple of years now, you're on year three. And the market's changing a little bit and we've got, you know, the recession happening and we've got interest rates climbing and we've got, we've had pandemic for the past two years, which you've still done really, really well. Can you tell me, what are you doing now? Let's, let's take it back like the past six months and based upon what you've been doing the past six months, what would you say your next six months look like given the the economic world that we're in right now? 
So basically, I joined your coaching group in September of 2021. Um, and almost quit that because it was just, it was so much great information, but I was also trying to keep up with a ton of business as well. And so, um, you know, Mary Ordono, I give huge props to her because she was just kicking me in the tail the whole time saying, just do the freaking vi videos, Joe. They're not that hard. Do the videos. And so I did. And, um, you know, I just followed the course and I mean, things just started exploding for me. Um, you know, I wanted to close 300 homes this year. I'm not going to get there, but it's okay because the, the, the price on the homes have started increasing. So, you know, I like to, you know, I've been on a couple of your boot camps as a testimonial and this year so far, I mean, we've made well over six figures in additional commission just because of the price that we're starting to attract now. And so through the last six months, um, you know, tons of video text, tons of postcards, tons of just getting out in front of people, answering questions through like sponsored Facebook ads, answering questions before they even know they need to ask the question. Yes. You know, providing so value, now, like creating value, doing videos, helping people out. And then they're, they're reaching out to you because they're seeing you and they're seeing your content. Tons of value. Like, yes, giving tons of value for free, like, you know, providing tons of value. And so um, just through that, it's a lot of video text as well. You know, nothing about real estate. Um, if it's somebody who got COVID, we'll send them a little um, thing of chicken noodle soup and some spoons and all that. Like it's just thinking outside the box is what it is and not being the typical real estate agent. That's the thing. Like um, that's what we've been doing. And then so looking into the next six months, um, just kind of doubling down on what we're doing you know, the market is shifting, commissions aren't flowing like they were, you know, six months, 12 months ago. And so what's going to happen? A lot of agents are going to cut their marketing budget, right? Mm -hmm. um, well, fortunately, one of the things I went to college for is advertising and marketing. Mm -hmm. And I know that in a downturn, that's when you want to just double down, pour everything that you can into your marketing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in this downturn, in this shift, that's all we're doing. We're doubling down on sponsored ads. We're doubling down on postcards, on referral gifts. We're just doubling down on everything to put our brand in front of more and more people. Ooh, and so I love it. You're basically so, that's what we're doing here in the area. You're business centric, you're people focused, you're, you're relationship driven, you're value driven. You're about being, having sort of an omnipresent and sort of thinking outside the box. You know, you're, you're really, you're just you're really going all in. I mean, you're going all in with your business. Like you said in the beginning, you treat your business like a business. I mean, to do that amount of business is, is, a, is a lot of business. I know my best year, I did 169 homes and I was the only licensed agent. I know the kind of work it takes to sell that those kind of homes. My thing is a little blurry. And like you said, you don't have like a ton of um, nice little so much out there. You don't have like a ton of help. So, all right. So video text messages, talk to us about the video text messages and what those look like. So basically, you know, I'll pick out 10, 12, 15 people, whatever, um, and find a reason to talk to them. You know, if they get a new dog or if their kid graduated high school or whatever, like, congratulations, I saw that Sally graduated high school, you know, hope everything's going well. It's been a minute since I've talked to you. And it, again, it always like 90% of people always respond back. And they're like, oh, it's so great to hear you, you know, see you and hear you and you're doing well. They all say, I see you everywhere. Yeah. So that's good. And confirmation that what, what we are doing is working. They're like, we see you everywhere. And then it always comes back. So how's the market? You know, I saw that you sold one, two, three Main Street. You know, it's on my road and all this and that. And I got your postcard and it's on my, you know, my refrigerator. And so um, it always, always comes back to real estate. And the thing is, is that most people are so intimidated by video but yeah. will you believe that like 50% of the responses back are video? Yeah. And so it's kind of cool how that works. Yeah. So good. It's mm -hmm. so good. And you know, let's talk a little bit so you about your mindset. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I feel like part of with you, you're, you're always happy. You're always smiling. And, and, you know, I love when you post, you're like, see, it works. I just got eight transactions from doing the CMA drop off or all these things. But, and I think your mindset has a lot to do, your attitude, your demeanor, your enthusiasm has a lot to do with, you know, I mean, 
I'm, I'm just going to go back to the kind of business that you did. That is this huge shift from eight transactions to what you say, 56 to 150 something. I mean, that's, that's insane. Mm -hmm. That's massive. I mean, less than 1% of the population of real estate agents does that. Mm -hmm. um, talk to me a little bit about your mindset aspects of it. And then what we'll so Mindset is a huge part in it. Um, you know, uh, of course, since I joined your coaching program, like mindset has been just at the forefront. I've always kind of been a positive person. Like I always look at the glass half full, not half empty. Like it's always a nice day. And, you know, I truly, I genuinely want the best for people, right? Um, you know, no selfish ambition in, in my heart, like no greed, no anything. Like I truly want what's best for everyone. But mindset plays such a huge part in how your day goes. Um, so I have this routine that before my feet hit the floor, I state three wins, either three wins that I know are going to happen through the day or that happened yesterday. And then before I go to bed at night, before I, I close my eyes to go to sleep, I recite three wins. Like that has to be just a positive reinforcement, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just that positivity, surround yourself with positivity. I've been telling people for years, I don't watch the news. I don't know when the last time it is that I've watched the news. It's probably been 15 years. Like I just don't watch the news yeah. because it is so negative. Mm -hmm. There's hardly anything positive on the news. And so, you know, and then through your coaching, we, we do a mind, what I like to call mindset Mondays with when we get on the call and it just helps start your week off. Like it's hard to have a bad day when you're reciting all the wins and really and truly like you can, you can, you know, it's hot here in the summer. You can find something to be thankful for. And that is a win. It's hot here in the South in the summer. And just because we have air conditioning, that's a huge win. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't yeah, always have to be. Yeah, it doesn't always have to be that, you know, I closed, you know, 100 transactions last month. It doesn't have to be that, you know, it has everything to do with just being thankful and being positive and surrounding yourself with positive people. Yeah. Um, you know, not being around people who are, you know, takers is what I like to call them. They're takers. Mm -hmm. They suck your energy dry. And I like to be around people that are positive. They suck your enthusiasm. They suck your confidence. They suck it all. Right. It's so, so true. Yeah. And when so, they're not that way, they think that you're putting off a fake vibe or something like that. But this is truly who I am. Like I'm always energetic. Like there's rarely, I require very little sleep. And, um, you know, my mind's always going as to, you know, our next marketing piece or what can we do to kind of stand out and be a little bit different. You know, it's always, I'm always thinking of different things. And so, um, but it's very easy to be positive, it's also easy to be negative, you know, mm -hmm. you choose which one you're going to be, mm -hmm. you know, whether you say you can, or whether you say you can't, you're exactly right. <laughs> you so, are, I love you, I love your attitude, I, I feel like I'm listening to myself, it's so good, <laughs> it's so good. I like to be, I like to think of myself as the East Coast male version of Kristen Mayshore. <laughs> I like, I, I feel like we're, we're like super in sync, right? We're super in sync. Joe, this yeah. has been amazing. I love your enthusiasm. I love the fact that you didn't give up and, and stop when times were hard. You said you went through some rough bumps and you just figured it out and kept going. And I mean, you've had just massive success. So video text messages are working, having an omnipresence, doing video, adding value, really, really being people centric, um, staying top of mind. You know, creating the video sponsored ads like we teach. I mean, so all of it goes together. Do not stop marketing. Do not give up because now's the time when people are going to be retreating when you want to have a bigger presence. I will say that a thousand percent in my business, I've always done the same and still continue to. And I can't wait to see you in a couple of days here. I know. Yeah. I know. I leave out tomorrow night. I'm so excited. So I know. I'm so excited too. Yes. We're going to have a great time. So everyone, this is Joe Seaman. What's the name of your company? And tell them again where, where they can find you. It's the J Properties Group. Um, look me up on my personal Facebook page. That's where the good content is, not on my business page. It's just Joe Seaman on Facebook. And then on Instagram, it's Joe Seaman, the little underscore thing, realtor. Joe so. Seaman, S-E-A-M-O-N underscore realtor. Obviously, you'll see it in the show notes. Make sure you go like it and subscribe. Go, go follow Joe so you can give him your, your referrals in Georgia. And don't forget, Joe and I, which Joe and I talked about when we hang up, but thrive135.com, thrive135.com. We'll see you there. Everyone, make it a great. Remember, it's great to have knowledge, but if without implementation, without execution, nothing happens. You're interviewing a man right now that already, as of this year in July, just barely six months in the year, has already sold 150 plus 
properties and he's told you exactly the blueprint and i know you're like well is it a he just gave me the secret sauce it's that simple follow it right joe that's it that's it implement quick and you've you've commented on that a lot like don't think too hard about it just do it right just do it and now i was i was asking what's the one piece of advice and i think you just gave it it's implement fast yes what if i fail joe what if i fail yes you can talk yourself out of doing something but how do you know if it's going to succeed or fail if you don't do it? So implement quick. Implement quick. I love it. Joe, thank you so much. And everyone, thank you for spending your time with us. We both appreciate you so much. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.